What a first half of footy. Hill Sports High go to the break, leading by 10 points to nil on the Daily Telegraph scoreboard. Yeah, it was, we're down 16 nil. The boys' heads a bit um, down. Coach Frank um, pulled us in and he's given us words and it's made us switch on. And yeah, I was just trying to put our boys on the front foot, like taking heaps of carries, two carries a set if I need. Mr. Fair bit of the year, here he is now, Miller. Look at the run. <laughs> and yeah, we just fought back hard work. I just tried to give the boys like, like encouragement, you know, we can still do this, we can still push hard and that. And yeah, so yeah, he got us over the line. And, but there's a couple more opportunities for Pats. Out of acting half, Ayarch goes himself. And Pats have points. Um, the last 20 minutes, we just sort of, we just said, like, this is one of our last games. We have to do this for the school. It meant so much for us. And then the next set, we scored straight away again. And then that, that was all from there. We just kept scoring. We got on the front foot, found the confidence. And yeah, nothing could stop us then. Can he get there? Miller, I think he's got there. The powerhouse. Oh, the atmosphere was crazy, like you could hear our school in the background cheer and teachers and all. That last moment of the game with that charge down, oh, I remember I saw Josh running away and I was like, just keep going, just keep going and he got there and it was unreal. Two points in and charge down, he's a chance now, Al has him, can he pop them to the front? He dives towards the Premiership, Joshua Al has him. Incredible! Leichhardt Oval! The foundations, they are shaking! Patrician Brothers of Fairfield! Patrician Brothers! Here's Lee! And there it is! It's all over! It's been 30 years since their last Premiership! 30 years later, they have come to Leichhardt Oval! And they have knocked over the Hill Sports High School. What an absolute epic, epic grand final. The final score, 20 points to 16 in favour of Patrician Brothers of Fairfield. Yeah, no, it was amazing. I'm just looking back at videos of different people had taken on the day, etc. And, you know, the, um, the support there by having most of the school out there, it's, it's amazing. And, it was one of the best moments ever, holding the trophy up, just so much relief, it's gone and just the proudest moment I reckon in my life and best moment for the school, being the school being there and supporting every moment throughout the whole comp and everything is, is amazing. You know, everybody's taken us out of the equation of us being the best in New South Wales and for us to finally hold that name and hold that title for our school, you know, that's something that not just me but the rest of the boys, you know, that, that's pride there you know, for our school. This is what we dreamed of in year 10 and we finally won it like our last year of school and it, it was crazy, just couldn't believe it. This group don't know how much it's affected um, the broader community. The days are, uh, are gone now, that, you know, fearful of the sleeping giants, man, you know, in years to come, those will be the same boys that these kids will reflect on, so um, in saying that, man, um, you know, we've come all this way, people have uh, knocked us off and never given us a chance but you know, with the blue and blue spirit you know, the boys will keep staying in the fight. So. Even though students may change and cultural backgrounds of the students change there's always been that that uh, patrician charism and I guess those values that are associated with that and um, I can see that in the, in the boys in the current team as well. It doesn't matter who you run into, uh, old boys from years gone by or, or more recent graduates, there's a real sense of brotherhood in, in the college. Let's just enjoy these next couple of days, all right? You're sweet. Want to see how Burke is it? No, all good. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, just arrived at Sydney Airport, uh, just having some breakfast, waiting for our flight to board. Yeah, pretty keen, just waiting. Investing in Ipswich National Schoolboy Cup and having faith in ourselves, eh? That's it. Growing up with these boys, 
so a long time since we're in year seven. Um, we always like since year ten we've been talking about this moment and it's finally come, you know. We've made it and yeah, just living living the moment. Yeah. It's it. We're playing on a huge stage, and um, and without this, without the teachers doing all this stuff behind the scene, we wouldn't have got to this stage. Without them, we wouldn't have been here. I actually keep going. <laughs> Hello boys, how are you going? So we're one of the first clubs to have a, a centre of excellence they call it and now you'll probably find that most clubs either have one or have got plans to build one into the future. So for those that uh, see their future in the NRL, what you're walking through at the moment is pretty much the future of uh, the game. But I'm sure all of your coaches and everyone around the team, even your parents, would let you know that there's a whole group of young men your age who've got dreams to do the same thing. Right? Prepared to work hard, you will get that. Yeah? Prepared to make some sacrifices for you to get the spot over the other guy, that what are you prepared to give up to get what you want? You can just about guarantee that the other bloke's probably prepared to give up something. Yeah, made a pretty big day with travelling and stuff like that. From the Broncos headquarters. All right, put, it, put that all aside now. Yeah, get into it, it's all business. Short, sharp session. Absolute perfection. I, th I think with values, like respect is the biggest one. I, th I think that goes for all of us on coaching staff and just as a school, respect for each other, respect for the environment that we're in, respect of each other's faith, respect of each other's beliefs, um, and they just care for one another. Yeah, the coaching staff has been, like, been top of the notch ever since last year. They dedicate um, their heart and soul to this, and so do we. I was just like a little cheeky kid, like, I didn't want to listen to no one. I always thought like, I was better than everyone. But yeah, I was like, been real humble since I came. Like, it's like a, like, it's a community-based school. Like, everyone look out for each other. Everyone, there's no groups. Everyone just likes each other, you know? Being part of the rugby league program, they just gravitate towards each other. And what's happened in the last couple of weeks is been, uh, a lot of work for probably you know two to three years we've built up to this. I think people only see what's happening now. And it means a lot to win the grand final with them because you know you build a closer relationship with them and this relationship you know will last for years into the future. Yeah I love all these boys you know I'm so grateful I've got a good group of mates like these ones yeah. Push up Jordan, push up Jordan! I think what we do is so much more than a rugby league program um, and I guess all this really does is you know it gets a bit of exposure and, and th that's awesome for the program but I think we're more than that. Uh, developing the whole person uh, in the college is really really important for us so we have a big focus on well-being in the college to ensure that the boys if they're feeling good about themselves they're also then going to be good learners. You know I'm, I'm massive I'm big on community and um, you know any chance I get is to make sure that you know not only with the school with the community that is that we give back you know these kids have achieved massive men it, it's 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 brought everyone together and and that's what football does Wishing you all 
don't say this. Uh, make sure you bring the trophy home. <laughs> Go Bears! <laughs> and understanding that uh, not everything you do is successful. So understanding how to fail. Uh, they say, say fail is a first attempt in learning. And so we encourage the boys to, to get up and have another go and to take some risks in life and to take some uh, risks uh, in their education. Hey, before we leave this place, I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys, man. Massive thank you for what you guys have done. What you guys have done. Especially for our community, our school, and our families. Um, trust me, man, just done something for us that uh, that money can't buy. And the bond that you guys have, when your bond is back in 10 years' time, will be remembered forever. Um, I love each and every one of you. Thank you for making my time at this man. Uh, I'm everyone. Uh, I love this man. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby.